morning we today are going to talk about how to find your balance point on your underwire and why you need to find it there are a couple of reasons why you need to find it if you are just first starting out with lingerie design and not too sure on wires whether you pick one up and is it a balconette is it an everyday wire is it a plunge by finding the balance point you will naturally see if the balance point was say there on this wire you would be able to see you would be able to see if it's a balconette because on a balconette wire the wires at the center front and under the armpit are roughly the same height if the balance point was here you'd be able to see that it was a plunge because the wire is higher on the underarm than it is at the center front and if the balance point was here which it is You'll be able to know that this is an everyday wire where the wire on the underarm is slightly higher than the wire on the centre front. So to find your balance point, you're going to take your underwire and with the wires facing up, you're going to balance the wire on the table and see where it naturally sits. And it's there where it naturally sits is where the balance point is. I usually mark a pen on the balance point so I can reference it to my patterns. So when you wear a bra, the wires are going to splay open. And having your balance point at the bottom means there's no extra other pull on the wires. Also, regarding patterns... The cradle, you will have a seam where the centre front meets your side cradle. By knowing the balance point of the wire, when it comes to looking at designing your cup patterns, you'll be able to see whether this wire that you have is high enough at the side under the arm to support the breasts. You will be able to see where it's going to sit on your patterns for the cradle. I always put the balance point at the point where the seam is, where the centre front meets the side cradle. There'll be a seam and that's where I put the um, balance point of my underwire. 